Turf Business TV are now joined by a familiar face to the whole industry, David Withers here at Iziki. David, a um, couple of days into the show now, how's it going? Yeah, it's interesting. Here we are. What is it? The you know half past four on the second day, so it does feel like the show is kind of you know pretty much getting to the uh, getting towards the end. So um, it's been good. Uh, it's lovely to see all our old friends and uh, guys we've known for years. And it takes you ages to walk from hall to hall, doesn't it? Because you bump into so many people you know. So it's lovely from that point of view. I think this hall has probably been quieter than the purple hall and the red hall from what I've been able yeah. to see. So I think we're here in the blue hall. Um, so I think that's something we'll talk to the organisers about afterwards. But as ever, it's uh, you know it's been lovely to see everybody, uh, all the old friends and uh, faces from over the years. Well, you mentioned old friends. You've got a very old friend come to join you here. Yeah, that's been exciting for us as well. So Alan Prickett, who many of you will know, uh, MD of Ransoms until sort of summer of last year. He left there and took some time off just to decide what he wanted to do. And, uh, and then beginning of this year, he's joined us as business development manager. And yeah, I've worked with Alan for... 22, three years or something like that at Ransoms and uh, he's tremendously respected in the industry and it's great to have him on board with us at Izeki. So yeah, we're excited to have uh, another guy on board. So business development, that can mean many different things. What's, what's his role for you? Yeah, so he's going to look after some of the dealers in the central swathe of the, of the country, but he's also going to look at some new dealers for us. So in areas where we don't have good coverage, he'll be looking at uh, dealers that he can help us with there. And then also working with the big national accounts. So, you know, some of the big contractors, people like that, Alan's going to spend a little bit more time uh, with them to try and bring them uh, able to buy more of uh, the Izeki product. So, kind of a mixed role, really. So, I think, are we two years in now to Izeki UK? Yeah, yeah, just is finished it, our second year. Is it where you hoped it would be? Yeah, so we, uh, we grew about 10% between this year and the previous year. And last year we did more than was being done prior to our uh, having Izeki. So, we are on that trajectory. You know, anybody who works with me will tell you I'm never happy. Um, I always think we can do better. I always think there's more we can do. And I think, yeah, we're we're pretty much on the trajectory we hope for, maybe just slightly behind, um, but still growing, you know, kind of in line with where we'd hope to be. So we're going to see some changes with Cat5 over the next few months, I guess, with many of the manufacturers. You'll be no different. Is it just engine changes or is it a bit more than that? Yeah, I mean... Everything in that 25 to 50 horsepower is going to have to have this new engine fitted, and that for us hits like 60% of our product range. So tremendous amount of new products coming through during this year. So we've got to sell out the old ones and then new ones coming in. So it is going to be a bit of a change for the industry, both in terms of the maintenance of that product is slightly different, uh, and obviously the cost of that product is slightly different. So yeah, some changes coming, I think. But you know the new engines are fantastic you know so whilst it's seen I think slightly negatively by the trade because it's change uh, but the new engines are going to be great and I'm sure if we five fast forward five years we'll look back and we won't even really remember that this happened so it's just something the industry's got to get used to.